He's been creative vice president at the largest ad agency in the world. And his comedy improv group performed on the top stages of New York City. His artwork <laughs> has hung in the most prestigious galleries and museums across this country. Oh, and yes, he was the first white guy ever on Soul Train. <laughs> Scott Shellstrom. <Woo! laughs> What were they pointing at? I, it's up there. It's down there. Come on, do it with me. Excellent, everybody. We are going to have fun today. You guys are awesome. Creativity is just a unique solution to a problem. And we got a lot of problems out there. Business as usual is not usual anymore, is it? But when we think of creativity, don't we normally think of it as art? Think of Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, he was a great painter, he was a great sculptor. But he also was a great scientist, a great mathematician, a chemist, an architect. He's kind of like you guys. Today, you have to be everything. You have to be that social media guru. How's your LinkedIn doing? You keeping it up? Are you the psychologist in the group? <laughs> because you know it's all crazy up in your place anyways. So I hope you let me, right now, unleash a little bit of my Da Vinci. You know, creativity is fragile. And when you are working with your team and someone comes to you with an idea that is just out of the box, even if you don't like the idea, folks, you have to encourage it. And I know we are busy now, right? Our plates are full. Our brain bandwidth is completely at max. And even when someone comes with a great creative idea, sometimes we just don't hear it, do we? And here's the big one, and I do this all the time. We're prejudiced against some of our teammates. You know, oh God, here comes Betty with another big idea. <laughs> Maybe Betty does come in with a good idea every once in a while, and we have to train ourselves to be more aware of those ideas. Let's party. I need three volunteers. What's your name? Deb. Deb, where are you from? Philippines. The, are you serious? Seriously. Wow. What's the name of your practice? My husband retired, and we're doing mission work now. Aww. Give her a hand. What's your name? Brooke. Brooke, where are you from? Vegas. Yeah. Woo! So did you get a room? No. OK. I have, you have I, I, I know, but you know, if you get a room, it could mean something else. Shh. Stays in Vegas. And she's always staying in Vegas, so. Hello. What's your name? Estefania. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I'm feeling you're not from Vegas. I am not. Where are you from? Houston, Texas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, improv is the new way to train everybody. It's great for teamwork and leadership style, but it's fun. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have some fun. We'll learn some lessons later. But here's what we first need from you. I need a party, like a birthday party or a company party. What do we have? Christmas party! The loudest one wins. So we are having, we are gonna have a Christmas party. I'm really so happy you came. You, you think you are too? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry you gotta go. Yeah. Well, it was, it was memorable, I think. I never thought she was gonna leave. Improv is fun, but it also teaches you other things like listening, working with each other, making sure you don't carry the whole idea. When I was a kid, I hated standing up and, and reading. I wasn't good at it. When I got to college, the teacher said, hey, have you had problems with reading and writing? I said, yeah. He said, you've got dyslexia. So I went to go look up what dyslexia is. We didn't have Google then. So I looked it up and I found out what it was because there was a book on Leonardo da Vinci, and it was titled, Leonardo Had the Gift of Dyslexia. And so there, I said, what was the gift? Well, the gift, the gift was because you think differently. And people like Einstein and Beethoven had dyslexia. I ask all of you to constantly seek new perspectives. Look at that challenge differently. Look at your own creativity differently. Find that da Vinci within and release it.
Let me paint my last painting, but keep in mind the word perspective. Get out there and unleash yours. Thank you. If you're planning a meeting, hire Scott Shellstrom. Don't even think twice.